subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube, like the videos and also check out the playlist. So today I'm talking to a physical therapist. Her name is Anne Hansen. Hi there, thanks for joining me today. Just introduce yourself and just tell me a little bit about where you work. I am located in Hearst, Texas, and that's between Dallas and Fort Worth. Okay, and um, just tell me, like we're talking about um, the lymphatic drainage massages today. So what is your experience? Uh, what sort, do you have any qualifications or anything? So I'm a licensed physical therapist and I've been helping people for 19 years. And okay. then I have a specialty through close training, which is the Botter method. And I've been treating swelling for 12 years. Brilliant. Okay. And you said, um, sorry, I just missed there. Where did you say your clinic was? It's in Hearst, Texas, between okay. Dallas and Fort Worth. That's great. And do you do any like mobile service or is it just in the clinic there? Yes, on request and depending on distance from the clinic, but that is an option. Okay, so I just really wanted to like get lots of information here about that particular massage that someone would have done after surgery. First of all, could you tell me like what would be the difference between that particular massage and just going to get a normal massage? So a lymphatic massage is just slight um, pressure to the skin, it's skin stretch, and it's helping to redirect the flow of the lymphatic system and just help it be more efficient. So it's already working, it just helps it um, cycle through better and more efficiently. Okay, okay. Um, so just say, for example, if I was to book some sessions with you, like what would I expect when I arrive? Like what would I be wearing? What would I need to do beforehand? So um, it's better to wear loose fitting clothing that's easy to take off and put back on. Um, with the lymphatic massage, we'll be treating pretty much the whole body. And then the areas that we'll be working on are exposed, um, but the rest of the area is covered with sheets. Oh, so okay. to keep the patient's modesty and that kind of thing. So. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Um, so tell me, um, is there a way that uh, someone would know if they needed to have that done? Like, how would they know? Is it just because they had surgery or do, would they not feel very well? Or is there something that they would, you know, be thinking, oh, okay, I need to go and get this done? Is there any symptoms? So it would be like a fullness or a thickness or a heaviness, um, a swelling on a certain type, you know, portion of the body. Um, mm -hmm. It really can be helpful for lots of different things, um, post-op knee and hip replacements, um, facelift, mm -hmm. lipo, fat transfer, um, all of that is helpful to help the healing be more efficient mm -hmm. and, and timely. Okay. Okay. Um, so tell me, I hear uh, like quite a lot of um, people saying that they can do this on themselves. In your opinion, like, is it possible to do this on yourself or to kind of watch a video and be able to just successfully do that on yourself? I, th I think so. Um, the order in which things are done are very important and the direction of the stroke is important as okay. well. So there's lots of videos out there that are helpful. Um, I find that a lot of clients just want to be pampered a little bit and have mm. someone do it for them. Um, but it is a possibility to learn. Um, and then that's part of what I teach all my clients is how to reproduce that at home. Okay, that's good. So someone can go away and do that themselves as well after they've been to you. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Brilliant. Okay. So um, is there anything like that someone would need to do to prepare themselves before having the massages done? Like say for um, example, eating or drinking, is there anything they need to not drink or, you know, what would their kind of run up to it be? So it's better to stay away from things that are dehydrating, caffeine and alcohol and things like that, um, especially if they've had a procedure done. Um, okay. Water, you know, normal intake, but drinking more water isn't going to increase the rate of the lymphatic system. Um, okay. Just you want to have a general balanced diet. So um, what about like things like, say, if you was if you was a smoker, would it be still okay to carry on smoking or...? It's, it's not best for healing. It robs the body of oxygen. Um, mm. It would just slow things down your 
system isn't as efficient when you smoke, okay. so it's not okay. advised. Okay, that's good. Um, so tell me, like, how long would it take for you to see a result after you've had it done? And how many sessions would you need to have? Kind of what lengths of, you know, how long is it? Half an hour? 45 minutes? Or So I usually do a 60-minute session with clients. Okay. Um, and I've seen results in the treatment itself. I mean, I've seen patients that I can actually see the lymph moving out of the area. It's pretty fascinating. I always tell yeah. patients, I think I'm more amazed than they are sometimes just because <laughs> it works that but, well. Um, but I usually recommend twice a week to start out with for about a month okay. and then okay. reassess as we go along. And then I usually see people one to two months post-operative. Okay. So probably about maybe eight to 10 treatments? about that yeah. yeah and then and, you know as people are doing better they can always go down to once a week or once every couple of weeks yeah um, does whatever. this procedure work say if you haven't had it straight after surgery can, can you can you have it like six months down the line say yes or, it can always help if there's swelling okay, present okay. um it you know it's recommended the first the first few days after surgery but mm -hmm. it can be helpful at any point in the recovery process Okay. And that was that going to be for all cosmetic surgeries or is there surgeries where it just wouldn't benefit? Like where is the lymphatic system draining kind of like? So it's all throughout the body. You've got regional lymph node beds that are in your armpits mm -hmm. and in your groin and in your neck and in your mm -hmm. gut. Um, and so it's, we're redirecting to parts of the body that aren't draining as well. So, okay. um, say you had something in your left leg, we'd redirect to the right hip mm. and the left armpit to kind of okay. shunt that fluid. Okay. And would you say that it would be quite common, like when people have surgeries, is it quite a common thing that occurs or is it only just in a handful of people? Because some people kind of think that, that everybody needs to have it done after surgery. Right. I think most people swell. I mean, I haven't come across mm. many clients that have had a surgery and don't see swelling yeah afterward yeah it's okay. trauma it's trauma to the body yeah. and part of the swelling is the inflammatory and the healing process taking mm. place okay so what would like be your opinion say if someone is out from surgery say a year and they're still swelling would you say that would be partly could be what the cause could actually be it could be um you know i think it's always helpful to mm. to try and see you know, can yeah. we get that fluid moving better? Maybe we add in some compression if they haven't tried that. Yeah. Um, are they exercising to help use that pump to, of the muscles to move that fluid through the body? Yeah. Um, there's lots of things that we can uh, try to see if yeah. that will help. That's brilliant. Anne. So just tell me, like, what would um, like someone expect to pay? Because I know some of it's quite expensive. So to say it's a course of 10 treatments, what would they pay? Would it be, would it be any discounts or anything? Uh, we do offer package discounts, um, and then our pricing starts at $155 for a 60-minute okay. session. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, that's brilliant. So um, just briefly, just tell me like what else you do, because I know you do other things there as well. So just, you know, just <laughs> what, what sure. other services you do as well? So we are manual therapy biased, meaning we target the joints and the soft tissue for improved mm -hmm. mobility. Um, so we treat head to toe orthopedic problems, um, okay. balance, things like that. Uh, we also have a class four light force laser, which is considered a hot laser uh, okay. that works on the theory of photobiomodulation, <laughs> um, which is a lot to say, um, yeah. but it, it uh, helps work on the mitochondria portion of the cell and it can help with pain and swelling. Mm. So that's brilliant. we're that's one of brilliant. the few in our area that has that. And that's, that's actually great. behind me in the corner. So. <laughs> okay, that's brilliant. So I'm going to put all your information, your details and your website, telephone number in the video below so that anybody can contact you. Very good. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that's it. That's right. <laughs>